hello hello honey and this is going to be um you know pick a card on message for your soul family or your twin flame okay so one two three okay so like i said it could be your twin flame and your soul family all combined just take what resonates with you or it could just be somebody trying to guide you okay so one two and three so we're gonna go ahead and get started so pile number one um i feel like your person they have a very um a very nice energy like they're very very sweet um i feel like this person they just really like to they're very very happy people okay i don't think i've ever seen a time where this person is just like ever in a negative mood okay so yeah look at this person they they have a very very bright um personality okay and i think that's why you really like them a lot um, I think it's a little bit of both, okay? So, I don't know. I think what it is is, I don't know, it's both, okay? So, it's hard to say, like, it's the physical and then it's also the spiritual, okay? But, um, yeah, it's like both going on there. You got, like, a physical attraction and, you know, a soul attraction to them, honey. So, you know, this person, they've always been like that in every life where they just like to pat your, your hand. Like, they tell you, knock it off okay so this person <laughs> they're coming in they used to do that to you in a past life a lot where they used to say knock it off okay so <laughs> you know i feel like in a past life you were into like either dark magic okay or something like that okay and so i feel like you are a person to where you had like a certain personality to you um that was different okay and so um I don't know. You see, in this past life, I feel like you were just into magic. There's something to do with magic, okay? And so I feel like, I don't know what it is, but this person, they just they just keep trying to grab your hand and slap it and say, you knock it off. Like, you stop doing that. And, you know, I think you would just get happier when you do that because it was cute because then, I don't know. All I'm just saying is that this person, your twin flame, um, this is your twin flame, right? So they're coming in and they're saying, you need to clear that past life out because you were just, this person says that you were misbehaving, okay? So I don't know what that even comes in, but like I said, I feel like this person, I don't know, there's something to do with like, I think it's just what it was is um there was a lot of people interested in this person and you didn't really like that. And so it kind of made you be like, um, overprotective sometimes and it caused you to do the things that you did in the past life okay so I think that was really cute is what um, your divine feminine saying but they're saying it was cute but the thing is is that you know they had to grab your hand and be like knock it off okay so this person they're coming in from a past life say, you knock it off and then you know they're just telling you slapping you in the hand okay so what your twin flame wants to say is you know Baby, just clear out that past life, okay? Um, don't be like, you know. But yeah, I feel like it was kind of funny because you would find it hilarious and your um, twin flame would find it hilarious too. But the thing is that you caused a lot of karma in that past life. I don't know what it was. But yeah, this person, they like slapping you on your hand. They, say, they just tell you you're naughty is what, what they, they would say in a past life, okay? So... I would basically what your twin flame is saying is saying you clear that car karma out when you behave, okay? So that's what that person's saying, okay? So let's move on to pound number two. Pound number two, what your twin soul fam wants to say is, uh, I don't know, you know, you, you, your soul family has a lot of goofy energy, okay? Um, unfortunately, they're a little bit too much for me, okay? Because I get like, I'm telling you, like these people... Um, that are coming in, they are like a whole different energy. Like, they're not bad vibrations. It's just, there's like so many people that is a part of your soul family that like, you're not, you're going to even forget about. So if you've been like sad that you have to leave people behind, let me tell you, it's worth it. Okay. So if you have to leave people behind, I don't know, this could be for pile number two, but don't even sweat it with you're not really losing anything because you're attracting some really beautiful people in your life i mean true honest people that are coming in your life that are really going to help step in your power okay so yeah like these people want to remind you okay so your soul family is coming in 
in this reading. And also your love is coming in, okay? Somebody's coming in and they're saying, everything's going to work out for you. Okay, like, don't even sweat it, okay? So let's move on to the last pile. So last pile, yeah, you've been like a lot of, going through a lot of restlessness, okay? Um, but you see, there's, like I said, um, pop, oh, okay, maybe you, you resonate with pile number one. But I, I feel that pile number three, your person is very angelic, okay? They're very, very nice, okay? They have very light energy to them, okay? Like, I'm telling you, like, this person is probably even, like, weight-wise. There's lighter, light as a feather, okay? They probably don't even weigh a thing, okay? They even, like I said, they just, there is, like, they're just perfect, okay? They're just perfect. And, you know, I don't mean that as in an over-perfection way, but I feel like this person, that's how you define them, is perfect within, on the inside, and perfect just both all the way through, okay? And and that's because this person is an angel, yeah. See, you know, I don't know why, but I'm, like, drawn to... Wow, look at that. I just saw an angel, right? So this card came out. You see, like, how the this knight, he has the swords out, and then you see, like, kind of like a Catholic church setting. I feel like you knew your twin flame in a past life when they were in a church, okay? I feel like maybe this person was a very... um. They were a very religious person in one of the past lives, okay? Yeah, I definitely feel that you definitely knew each other in a past life where this person was very, very religious. So I think that's where you pick up kind of like, uh, you know, you know, it kind of ri reminds me of kind of like uh, Lucia. You know, if you don't remember her, you know, Lucia as in like. Lucia from, just look her up, you'll probably, you'll be familiar with her, but, you know, she was like a nun, really wonderful woman, and so, you know, anyways, going back to that is, like I said, this person, they really have a lot of very nice energy, okay, um, very friendly, okay, never would ever hurt a soul, okay, so what is your, um, angel, okay, I guess she, this person wants, he or she, whoever this is, like I said, um, tarot's not gender specific, but, you know, this person is coming in and saying, victory okay so they're saying keep balancing your energy okay so this person so you know this angel saying you may be alone but don't feel alone okay because this person they're always actually talking to you and they're always giving you signs to not feel alone okay so like i said this person there they definitely are an angel yeah look at that card that's coming in okay you got that song shaky angel go listen to that song show to you my angel na, 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 na. you know what i mean I'm not even trying to sing, but all I'm just saying is, um, yeah, there's going to be some talking coming forward too. really good communication coming in. Okay. Oh yeah. It's going to be a lot coming in between you and your divine feminine, but yeah, basically, or is this the divine feminine? I, like I said, you take what fits for you, but pile number three, that's what I have for you is you just, you just sit on back, you know, sit tight.